A YouTuber in Talacair Abbey in Wales notices a peculiar detail in the stonework, a sculpted animal face resembling a pig. Initially difficult to discern, the image prompts the group to investigate further, leading to a series of increasingly startling discoveries. They realize this isn't a natural geological feature, but a meticulously crafted stone altar from a bygone era. The author's smooth surface hints at a disturbing past, likely used for rituals involving human and animal sacrifices. Proper saints on it, little church ring there. This video culminates with a close-up of the author's clawed feet, leaving viewers to ponder its origins. Is this merely a staged prop, or did these explorers uncover a sinister secret hidden within the ancient cavern? The friend's apparent curiosity over fear is an intriguing reaction, one that I might share in the same situation. While the video seems quite authentic, seeking additional perspectives would be helpful before forming a definitive conclusion. In this disturbing TikTok by creator Wade Lonigan, a seemingly innocent baby video transforms into a chilling encounter with a skinwalker, a monstrous creature rooted in Navajo legend. The initial scene of tranquility is shattered by a distant scream, its blood-curdling nature sending shivers down your spine. Stay there. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? No? You don't want to say hi? What was that? Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? What the hell? Hey you, come on, let's get out of here. So I'm still walking this trail and I keep hearing that same scream. Here it is again. This is so freaking crazy. I can't even imagine what it could be. Like, it's definitely not a bird or some kind of animal. What the hell? All right, so I'm about a half a mile down from when I first started hurry, hearing the screaming. And I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but that definitely sounds louder. So I am pretty sure that whatever the fuck this is, is getting a lot closer. Ugh. Okay, so I'm way farther down the trail and that screaming is definitely getting way louder and way closer. Hey, have you been hearing that screaming too? What is wrong with you? Oh my God. As the woman and child desperately attempt to escape the source of the sound, its terrifying shrieks intensify, implying an approaching threat. Their flight is abruptly haunted, and they stumble upon another person on the trail. But the unsettling aura surrounding this individual suggests something deeply unnatural. Picture this. You're cruising down a scenic valley road on your rumbling chopper when a magnificent sight unfolds. A vast herd of bison grazes to either side. Talk about a breathtaking encounter. This couple certainly had a front row seat, but the bike's roar catches the attention of a curious bison drawn closer to investigate. Perhaps it even admires the ride. As with all good things, the moment must end, and the couple revs their engine to depart. Their hasty exit seems to spook a few bison, just as much as they were startled by the initial encounter. They were lucky to escape without angering the herd. Those majestic beasts are a force of nature not to be trifled with. Venturing alone into an abandoned factory is inherently risky. Unforeseen hazards like structural decay or hidden dangers can lurk within its deteriorating walls. This video exemplifies the potential consequences of solo exploration as the individual encounters an unexpectedly unsettling presence, a costumed figure residing in the building. 
Panic ensues as the individual attempts to evade pursuit, navigating the perilous terrain of the dilapidated structure, while the motivations behind the figure's presence remains unknown. Recent reports of disappearances in the area have fueled speculation about a possible connection. This incident serves as a stark reminder to prioritize safety and exercise caution when exploring potentially hazardous environments. The atmosphere surrounding this pub crackles with unsettling energy, so palpable that it drives one member of the Is It Haunted YouTube team to take drastic measures. The eerie journey begins with an unexplained chilling laugh. Mysterious noises seep into EVP recordings, culminating in the fleeting image of a shadow figure caught on camera. The team realizes that they aren't alone in this space. The fear peaks when Vicky, overwhelmed by the oppressive energy, chooses self-preservation and opts to leave. Can you not see that? It just went red and misty in front of me. <laughs> really? Yes, really. I'm seeing a mist that's lingering around. No one else can see it, just me. I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> like really emotional, and my heart is pounding. I think it's going. Her experience underscores how powerful intuition can be when a place exudes such a heavy negative aura. Sometimes the best choice is to create distance. There is a palpable truth embedded within that unseen energy. Picture a flood, so immense that its churning water rises well above the midpoint of your kitchen window. This terrifying scenario, sadly, isn't just a figment of imagination for residents of Hamburg, Germany. Storm surges like the one captured in the chilling clip submitted by MC Hamburg are a reoccurring threat, plaguing the city multiple times a year. Former Metro Atlanta police officer James Sanders is appealing his termination after an incident that resulted in his dismissal. How's it going? Lost insurance. The incident involved a traffic stop where Sanders pulled over a car containing 17-year-old boys who allegedly used profanity towards officers. According to the report, Sanders engaged in a verbal exchange with the teenagers, the content of which led to his disciplinary action. I don't believe it, but I swear to God I can beat him in basketball. You can't shoot. You still got to play moves. Dude, let me tell you something. I got two damn torn, lig torn up ligaments. I will smoke both of y'all. Y'all can play. The released body camera footage captures Sanders making statements that were deemed inappropriate by the department, leading to his dismissal. Sanders is currently appealing the decision. In 2009, Zurich police in Switzerland launched an investigation aimed at dismantling illegal marijuana cultivation networks nationwide. During the investigation, they strategically utilized Google Earth to identify potential growing operations. A detective noticed an unusual pattern within a field near Rapperswell in the northeastern region of Thurgau. Zooming in for a closer examination, the officer detected what appeared to be a substantial cannabis plantation concealed within a cornfield adjacent to a farmhouse. This discovery on Google Earth played a pivotal role in the arrest of 16 individuals, the confiscation of 1.1 metric tons of marijuana, and the seizure of approximately 1.1 million USD equivalent in cash. Police reports allege that the drug ring potentially distributed up to seven tons of marijuana between 2004 and 2008, generating substantial profits. Norbert Glasner, head of Zurich Police's Special Narcotics Unit, described the Google Earth breakthrough as an interesting chance discovery. The cannabis plantation has since been destroyed, as recreational marijuana use remains illegal in Switzerland. Two friends in East New Britain, Papua New Guinea, experienced a close encounter during a deep-sea dive. Approximately 57 meters below the surface, one diver utilized a plastic bottle and a technique likely intended to attract marine life. Moments later, the diver turned and observed a shark within the vicinity. Oh. 
Unfortunately, the shark did not exhibit further interest in the divers and departed the area, leaving both individuals unharmed. While on a safari in South Africa, tourists encountered a lioness who approached their vehicle. The lioness investigated the car, potentially perceiving it as a source of food or novelty. This interaction resulted in visible marks left on the vehicle's rear. As the vehicle moved away, the lioness exhibited a chasing behavior, likely driven by instinctual predatory behavior. While the experience was undoubtedly unexpected and potentially unsettling for those involved, it's important to remember that wild animals have unpredictable behaviors and interactions should be observed from a safe distance. YouTuber Ali H and his wife Emma find themselves in a disturbing situation. Strange experiences plague them, including Ali capturing the sound of his name being called on a ghost hunting app and Emma encountering a large, shadowy figure. That thing's massive. That's like seven feet tall. As tensions rise, Emma experiences a moment of intense fear, leaving Ollie searching for answers. Ben? What? The door started like shaking and that one slammed open. The dog started growling and then they got scared. And... What? You... Using a spirit box app, Ollie attempts to communicate with the unseen force, supposedly learning it wants him to retrieve a buried doll named Mary. I'm gonna go back to where we buried Mary. The following day, Ollie locates the doll in the forest. It must be around here somewhere. Oh, there. Holy <laughs> There's no way. Bro. There's like overgrowth on her and everything. She's right there. Mary's right. Listen closely. Faint sounds resembling a young girl's laughter or cries can be heard on the recording. Oh. Patty. What does that mean? What does Patty mean? While Ollie doesn't seem to acknowledge these sounds, viewers may find them unsettling. I'm, I'm, I, she's gonna say one more thing and I'm getting out of here. Like, I don't feel safe here. Mary, come on. Can you Regardless of the source of these experiences, it's understandable to feel unnerved by such occurrences. Ultimately, approaching these situations with a critical and cautious lens is crucial. On December 26th, 2015, a major storm complex swept across the United States, impacting areas from Dallas, Texas to New England. This system brought together various weather phenomena, including twisters, winter ice storms, blizzards, and floods. The North Texas Tollway Authority NTTA, traffic cameras in Garland, Texas captured footage of the storm complex, including the formation of a tornado. The video shows lightning flashes illuminating a white tornado base spreading across the horizon as the storm develops. This video, filmed in 2014 at St. Khan, Mexico, depicts a tense encounter between a swimmer and a large crocodile. The crocodile follows steadily behind the swimmer as he attempts to reach safety. Fortunately, onlookers intervened by distracting the crocodile with a large object thrown into the water. This diverted the crocodile's attention, potentially allowing for a safe escape. This next disturbing clip, submitted by Reddit user Poetic Yak, showcases a TikTok from a mine worker who reveals a truth that might change your perspective on the scariest aspect of mining. The scariest part of working in a mine. The mine spiders. 
While one might anticipate the dangers of working hundreds of feet below the surface, shrouded in absolute darkness, or the sheer amount of dust and debris, this individual uncovers a different kind of terror. Giant Mind Spiders On the night of April 30th, 2023, an unusual event occurred in Las Vegas. A fireball streaked across the sky, sparking witness reports of an extraterrestrial encounter in his residential backyard. This incident, captured on police body cameras, drew significant public attention. The body cam footage begins with officers responding to a 911 call from a Las Vegas family, claiming something had crashed in their backyard. The witnesses, visibly shaken, described seeing two tall figures with peculiar features, raising suspicions of alien visitation. Okay, what's going on over there? Okay, lady. Me, my dad, and my brother, we're working in a truck in our backyard, and we have a big lot outside, right? Correct? Okay. We were working, and we just see in a corner of our eye something fall down from the sky, and it was with light, and when it hit down, it was like a big impact, and we felt it. We felt like an energy, and then, and then, and then we hear like a lot of footsteps near us, and then we have a big, a big uh, equipment, and, and we see, and there's, a, there's like an eight-foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh in, in, in my backyard. Is it, I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we so just two, we terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard. Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're they look like they look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Okay. Like like I can't explain it. And big out mouth. They're shiny eyes and. And they're not human, they're 100% they're not human. And the officers approached the scene expressed nervousness and disbelief, yet the witnesses' genuine fear remained a point of concern. Further inquiries revealed that descriptions of large humanoid creatures exceeding 10 feet in height. Did you see it? Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, me and him yeah. saw it. What did you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like about 10 feet tall. Because I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything yeah, land see. in your backyard? Or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big truck with lights. And the men that have a big yard in the back. The footage then shows the officers cautiously venturing into the backyard to investigate the alleged crash site. While privacy restrictions blur portions of the footage, the officers' reactions and subsequent drone photos hint at witnessing something unusual. Did you see it? No? I'm kind of curious now. I want to. I want to know if there's aliens. I was with the iPhone. I say maybe was, I, I want to. It was like very big. Well, like this, like, where did you? Where did they go? Well, they say that. I'm gonna show you. Do you have a dirt backyard? Can you yeah, show me if okay. there's a? And I'm sorry. Did you see them go anywhere? No, you didn't. You saw, did they probably go that way? Reports emerged of the fireball being sighted across various locations, including Utah and Reno, with the Las Vegas incident generating the most interest due to the public release of body cam footage. The circular indentations found in the backyard remained unexplained even after days of investigation by local authorities. Ultimately, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department closed the case despite their initial involvement. The events of that night left a lasting impression on all involved. As the officers departed, one can be heard jokingly advising the family not to call them again in case of the nine foot beings return no hey if those, if those if those nine foot beings come back don't call us all right deal with it yourself that i ain't dealing with that <laughs> i'll drive by and wave at you guys you're on your own bro <laughs> yeah this incident serves as a curious reminder of the unexplained events that can sometimes occur close to home, prompting questions about the boundaries of our understanding of the world. Venturing into abandoned locations carries inherent dangers, and this chilling video from YouTuber Kyle McGran highlights a terrifying example. A life-threatening booby trap rigged within a seemingly unassuming house. 
Now what? what did he say? Thankfully, the explorers were alert enough to spot the dangerous contraption before disaster struck. Viewers have speculated about the motive behind such a sinister act. While the possibility of illegal activity inside the house is worth considering, one cannot dismiss the disturbing prospect that someone might have constructed this trap purely for malicious pleasure. A truly frightening thought. YouTuber Kuzu Paranormal Investigator shares this intriguing footage where a pair of eyes appears to be observing her. Oh, looks so creepy. Where is that? Looks like an eye. The shadowy presence resembles a dark, shapeless form. Come on, blink, and I got scared. <laughs> oh, my Driven by curiosity, she investigates the source. It's nothing. Revealing a phenomenon known as pareidolia, the tendency to perceive familiar patterns and random stimuli. While ultimately not of paranormal origin, this specific instance of pareidolia is undeniably unsettling, highlighting its ability to invoke chills and a sense of unease. While attending an accident scene on a highway, a first responder witnessed a new crucial situation unfold. Tow trucks were already present at the initial incident, which appeared to be under control. However, a car unexpectedly veered off one of the tow trucks, falling approximately 30 to 40 feet down the road. The first responder acted swiftly, requesting additional support via their communication system and rushing towards the newly occurred accident. Based on initial observations, the occupants of the car seemed to have survived the crash, but they likely sustained significant injuries. Shrouded in the viral buzz of the Spanish-speaking YouTube world, this image from Kisawiba raises chilling questions. Is this a ghostly bride clawing her way out of the earth? My attempts to trace its origins hit a dead end, adding to the enigma. Filmed under the cloak of night, a dark-haired figure in a flowing white dress crawls from the ground. Her rise accompanied by a spine-tingling rattle. Could this be a macabre wedding among the departed, while more spectral guests are yet to appear? Joining this eerie procession is the last thing on my mind. In 2016, BBC News broadcast experienced a brief disruption, leading to a series of unexpected events on air. Unfortunately, for the last few minutes, we've had to... Some Unfortunately, for the last problems, few minutes, we've problems. had to... Problems. Problems. This included technical issues causing signal interruptions, the activation of emergency alarms, and a brief visual glitch. The broadcast eventually resumed under normal operation. Hello, I'm David Eads with BBC World News. Our top While the incident was unsettling for viewers and likely unintended programming, the disruption was resolved within a short time frame. Floridians and alligators in their yards go hand in hand, especially near water. But the homeowner in this clip, posted by OK Criticism 558 decided he'd seen enough and took matters, well, quite literally, into his own hands. Witness the, shall we say, unconventional method he employs to send this unwelcome reptilian guest packing a mighty yeet back to the lake. On April 4th, 2020, 
Ernest Wilson used Facebook Live to broadcast a gathering at his home. This event, occurring during the height of the coronavirus pandemic, involved friends participating in a game of hide-and-seek during the broadcast while searching for his hidden friends. Wilson unexpectedly encountered an unfamiliar individual inside his residence. It's worth noting that Wilson had previously communicated a request for attendees to be limited to invited guests only. The footage later shows the unidentified individual entering the home and a subsequent confrontation between Wilson and the intruder. Tragically, this altercation resulted in Wilson being fatally shot at the scene. While seeking respite from urban environments can be appealing, wilderness encounters can pose unexpected risks. In this instance, a camper experienced an unsettling awakening when he unzipped his tent and immediately spotted a large grizzly bear. The bear proceeded to investigate the tent through physical contact, a behavior consistent with the species' known curiosity. It's important to note that such encounters are not uncommon in regions of the United States and Canada where grizzlies reside. Male grizzlies can have remarkable size, weighing up to 1,200 pounds and exceeding 8 feet in height when standing. Fortunately, the individual inside the tent acted quickly, retreating and creating loud noises in an attempt to deter the bear. While revisiting the Oman house, the YouTube team Barrier Beyond encountered a series of unusual occurrences during their investigation. During a tour of the property, faint moaning sounds were heard. You see that? Do you hear that? Do you guys hear that? Keep weeping. And their K2 meter readings fluctuated. Are you a human? I mean, are you not a human? <gasps> Joey! What? Joey! Yo, don't scream like that, Joey! bro. I'm about to have a human. It's not human. Utilizing a spirit box communication device, team member Victor captured a female voice. Oh! F Victor, what? Dude, I heard a voice in the restroom. We heard a whisper out here. Whether this voice held any connection to Sharon Tate remains undetermined. Oh Get out! God. I heard that. Get out! Get out! It said right away as soon as I turned it on. I heard it. Get out! The team also received a written message, the origin of which is unclear. Evil. Killer. People in my story. It's important to remember the tragic events that unfolded within these walls and the lingering impact that they may have on interpretations of such experiences. A group of children, seemingly unaware of the danger, approaches the bison. The animal, likely feeling threatened by the growing crowd, becomes increasingly agitated. Unfortunately, the children continue to move closer one by one. The situation escalates when someone panics, causing the group to scatter in a chaotic rush. This triggers the bison's flight or fight response, further amplifying the chaos. It's a crucial reminder to always supervise children around wild animals and teach them about safe interaction with nature. A video uploaded to YouTube by DJ Def Joey on October 29th, 2010 offers a deeply personal and unusual narrative. In the video, Joey communicates by using American Sign Language with English subtitles, sharing his unconventional decision to exhume his great-grandmother's coffin from a cemetery due to his dissatisfaction with the site's upkeep. In a controversial act, 
Joey proceeds to open the casket, revealing his grandmother's preserved remains for the camera. He then kisses the corpse multiple times, an action that raises questions about the boundaries of reverence and potentially crosses into disturbing territory. Joey explains that his grandmother passed away on Halloween Eve in 1945, a detail made more significant by his own birth occurring eight years later. Though unsettling to many viewers, Joey's actions suggest a profound and personal relationship with his ancestry and a commitment to honoring that bond, regardless of societal norms. This footage, shared by Reddit user Green Snakes, originates from a Vietnam War Museum presentation. It reveals a series of horrifying traps designed to maim and impede enemies through the strategic use of spikes. The sheer effectiveness of these brutal devices is deeply unsettling, making it easy to imagine the agonizing pain inflicted on unsuspecting victims there. A seemingly idyllic day for a fisherman in Florida took a thrilling turn when he encountered a bull shark on the end of his line. Sensing a significant weight tugging at his fishing rod, he quickly began recording the struggle. Alright, we got a shark here. I'm trying to get vertical on him so he doesn't cut me off. The powerful shark fought fiercely, pulling the fisherman's line and forcing him to maneuver his kayak in the water to keep up. Fighting sea monsters. God dang, this guy's pulling. Right, sit down. I came for a fight. That's what I got. Emboldened by the experience, the fisherman lowered his camera to the water, attempting to capture a close up view of the predator. Nothing better than getting a workout on a kayak. Fortunately, despite the shark's growing frustration, the fisherman remains unharmed. He continued to attempt to reel the shark closer with his kayak. Took a bite out of my kayak. But as a surge of adrenaline kicked in, he opted for a swift retreat, paddling back to safety as quickly as possible. On April 13th, 2013, a group of skiers at a mountain resort captured a startling incident on the cameras while riding a chairlift towards the summit. They heard a sudden loud noise, and moments later, a large tree came crashing down nearby. The fallen tree landed on the downhill side of the lift, fortunately causing no apparent damage. Despite the close call, the lift continued its ascent, the cable clearing away most of the branches. However, one chairlift passed very close to the cameraman, potentially causing a moment of alarm. Fortunately, reports indicate that no one was injured in the incident. This video, shared by Redditor Sweet Jadhav, originates from a high school's night security guard and has sparked debate online.
The footage shows a dog appearing to react to something unseen, prompting viewers to question whether students were present after hours or the building might harbor a paranormal presence. The security guard's decision not to investigate further has fueled speculation within the comments section. While the video's authenticity remains unclear, it highlights the intriguing ability of animals to react to stimuli that humans might miss, leaving the source of the dog's behavior open to interpretation. Even after an animal's life has ended, certain health risks can persist. In this instance, a family discovered an abscess while preparing a holiday ham. Abscesses are pockets of pus caused by localized bacterial infection, indicating the animal may have been unwell before processing. Pus contains dead immune cells, bacteria, and tissue debris, a byproduct of the body's response to an infection. This type of contamination is undesirable for consumption. It's advisable for the family to seek a refund or replacement for their purchase. Matt Room experienced a remarkable moment when he revisited the truck where he endured six harrowing days after a road accident. Oh my God, how lucky I truly am to be alive. I had even been contemplating, you know, amputating both my legs myself just to crawl out of there. His ordeal began when his truck veered off an Indiana road, ending up concealed beneath a bridge. You spent your morning hours yelling at the top of your lungs. I was just yelling, you know, please somebody help me, somebody call 911, just over and over and over. It was tough being under there for the six days and I'm hearing hundreds of thousands of cars driving over me every day. He survived the crash and subsequent entrapment by drinking rainwater. I was able to make a makeshift funnel out of my sunroof visor and use that to kind of drink out of. Finally, his ordeal ended when two individuals searching for a fishing spot stumbled upon the wreckage. We got medics coming, okay? Don't worry about nothing. In my brain, I still hadn't processed that they were real. So I just kept asking them that. Are you real? Re reveals that after a week of severe pain and enduring cold temperatures, he had nearly lost hope. My leg was essentially crushed by the weight of the motor pushing back into the end of the dashboard and into the support pillar. Left leg stuck under the A pillar. Yep. And then right leg stuck in between the steering shaft and all that. He was reunited with his rescuers and is currently learning to walk again. Re, who also received a new car, revisited the junkyard to see his old truck, a reminder of the near fatal incident and his remarkable survival. This footage, shared by Anthem the Cat, showcases a colossal python sporting a decidedly prominent bulge in its stomach, hinting at a recent and substantial mill. The size of the bulge suggests it could have easily swallowed anything from a plump pig to a full-grown goat. While the python appears currently restrained or confined, one can't help but wonder what other prey it might have encountered and potentially consume if it were to escape. This video depicts a typical traffic junction with drivers waiting for the signal to change. However, a truck driver positioned behind the car with the dash cam appears impatient and attempts to cut ahead by switching lanes. Unfortunately, their maneuver fails due to limited space, and they are forced to wait for traffic to clear. This abrupt lane change attracts the attention of nearby a police vehicle. The officer initiates a traffic stop, likely due to observing the truck driver's disregard for traffic regulations. In this instance, a moment of impatience likely resulted in consequences for the driver. Surveillance footage from Redlands, California captures two separate incidents involving break-ins at private residences. In the first video, individuals approach a home, with one person using a flashlight to observe the interior. 
The second video shows a group entering a residence after breaking a window. Since uh, January 22nd, we've had increasing reports of residential burglaries, all with basically the same MO, window smashes and door kicks on rear doors. Redlands Police Department spokesperson Carl Baker highlights an increase in break-ins occurring between 3.30 and 7 p.m. He notes the involvement of potentially well-organized and experienced individuals, potentially linked to criminal groups known as South American theft groups, previously encountered by law enforcement. I do believe that the group operates with a lookout who parks a car nearby and alerts their, uh, um, their group if they see somebody coming. Former Los Angeles County Sheriff Jim McDonnell acknowledges a history of theft rings in Orange County with identical methods. South American theft groups, also known as crime tourists or Chilean tourist burglars, but they're transnational gangs and, and uh, they come into this country or, or many other countries around the world as well. Uh, on 90-day visas and take advantage of our systems and our laws. And they target wealthy households. Uh, they often use rental cars, cars that fit into the neighborhood that they're going to be uh, uh, stealing from. Uh, oftentimes, they'll pre-stage a car there with cameras on the car to be able to watch the house and get a pattern of life for the residents so they know when you're going to be gone, how long you're going to be gone. McDonnell emphasizes the importance of community vigilance, encouraging residents to be observant of unfamiliar vehicles and to maintain communication with neighbors. He acknowledges the limited individual preventative measures against such organized criminal activity. They go literally all over the world, but uh, we're particularly attractive because of the way the laws are here today. Uh, they know if they come in, they can do whatever they're going to do. They're going to probably be released uh, on bail or without bail. Fire and Rescue NSW, FRNSW, crews continue operations at the site of a major fire in Surrey Hills that occurred in the afternoon of May 25th, 2023. The blaze, which reached a 10th alarm level at its peak, resulted in the destruction of two multi-story buildings on Randall Street. Over 120 firefighters and 30 fire trucks from various Sydney stations battled the flames throughout the night to contain and extinguish the fire. Their efforts successfully saved neighboring residential apartments and office buildings across the street. While the fire is now extinguished, a small crew remains on site to monitor for potential reignitions. They are being aided by FRNSW drones, remotely piloted aircraft systems, in identifying potential areas of concern. The fire caused significant structural collapse at the site. Engineers and other experts are currently assessing the stability of the remaining building structures. Just across the road, in the building opposite the building that was actually caught fire or the source fire. As you can see, the extreme intense heat has broken these windows or caused these windows to fracture. And you can see ignition started to occur. But fortunately, the operations of firefighters 
their magnificent effort has got in and able to contain this fire to that building or area of origin and saving this building. There's yeah, still a bit of damage, but uh, quite fortunate that we didn't have two buildings or three buildings on fire, I should say, uh, after this flight line in. Still in the building opposite the main fire. As you can see, the windows are fractured here as well, causing breakage, the blinds starting to melt. So fortunate our firefighters, their quick operations have got in and stopped this fire from extending. The extreme heat of that fire is no doubt, without the intervention of firefighters, would have caused this building and the components to catch on fire as well, making this significant event much, much bigger. An exclusion zone has been established around the fire scene and is expected to remain in place for at least seven days. This displacement affects at least 50 nearby residents. Located in the UK, Bogart Bridge is about to deliver a disappearing act. YouTuber Andrew Duffy is here with his friend and his brother Calum when one of them vanishes. Let's go, go on, Tal. Let's go, bro. You ain't getting no offering from me. <laughs> you ain't getting no offering from the boys tonight. Not today, man. Not today. At first, they think he's joking around. Are you pulling a prank? Are you pulling pudding? We've got to find Callum, bro. Callum! I don't know, bro. Callum! Actually right behind him. But once they do find him after a long search, they realize something dark must have happened. What are you doing? Is that you? We've just been looking for you. We was on the bridge and then you're not here. What's, what's going on? What you're on the ball. I've, I've been here the entire time. What? What do you mean? Bridge. I've still been you know, here. you're not getting anything nah, and then bro. you're not there. We turned around, we thought you... Is Calum gaslighting them or did he somehow lose time and memory? Just here, the entire time. What do you remember then? We've just been stood here with you. We walked in here. It's hard to tell what happened here. My theory is that since they had nothing to offer the Bogart, it took Calum's memory as an offering instead. There is currently no information available regarding the victim's injuries in the robbery that occurred in Everett. During the incident, individuals stole jewelry, a cell phone, and ransacked the bedroom. The perpetrators reportedly left the scene within two minutes. The historic Jefferson Hotel holds a reputation for being haunted, and Room 19 adds to its mystique. This footage, shared on the hotel's official YouTube channel, captures an intriguing moment within this room. As the woman enters, a paranormal device activates. Okay, so you'll see us right there. We're coming in, and then that's going off too. A fleeting shadow then crosses the doorway, seemingly crouching down. And then you'll see it. And it, like, you see how it's big and then it gets yeah. small? Without further context or additional footage of the room's layout, it's challenging to determine the source of the shadow. While the possibility of a paranormal explanation exists, it's equally plausible that the shadow originates from a source within the room itself. In 2019, a U.S. Army unit deployed in Afghanistan encountered an improvised explosive device, IED, while traveling by road for a key leader engagement. The blast impacted the front of the vehicle, causing it to overturn. Damn it! Are you all okay up there? Yeah, 
Unfortunately, no personnel were injured in the incident. A fire broke out in a warehouse containing electronic appliances after an ignited firecracker entered the building. While children were playing with firecrackers nearby, one firecracker is believed to have been kicked into the warehouse, igniting the stored items. Upon discovering the fire, the manager opened the warehouse door but found the storeroom fully engulfed in flames. Emergency services responded and extinguished the fire. This fireworks mishap occurred in downtown Los Angeles. As depicted in the video, the firework veered toward a unit within the building. Subsequently, the sound of glass shattering can be heard. My brother came over to watch the fireworks in DT LA. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Dude, that went in the building. Fortunately, the unit was unoccupied. The broken fragments then descended onto a car parked below. This 3 a.m. motion capture footage has sparked online debate. Redditor Ash71010, who set up a camera in the garage to monitor mice, captured two unusual oval shapes floating in the top right corner. The shapes disappear briefly before reappearing moments later. While various explanations have been offered, the lack of window in the room makes reflections from outside sources less likely. Some speculate the shapes could be related to paranormal activity, while others suggest a more practical cause, such as a spider web. Ultimately, without further evidence, the source of the shapes remains a mystery. This TikTok, shared by Nicole10711, offers a behind-the-scenes tour of a Warner Brothers film set. So this is the stage where they filmed The Conjuring, and here's the hole in the stage that we made, but they also had one in The Conjuring, um, and a paranormal investigator actually went down here and investigated and heard her name being called, and it's really creepy. While Nicole likely wasn't aware during filming, viewers noticed a pair of glowing eyes peering back from within the set. The source of the reflection is unclear. It could be exposed metal catching the light, or perhaps something else entirely. The internet offers a vast collection of unsettling and disturbing videos, but this particular footage takes the unsettling nature to a new level. In it, two brothers explore their backyard with a flashlight when an unexpected object moves through the darkness seemingly on its own. Unfortunately, the flashlight beam soon illuminates a masked figure lurking behind a corner, prompting the terrified children to flee for safety. Ah. 
something. Come in, get inside. Get inside. While the potential exists for this to be a harmless prank, the circumstances create a serious safety concern that should be addressed in the interest of the children's well-being. This video takes place in St. Peter's, Russia. It shows a family celebrating the baptism of Jesus where they submerged themselves three times in the holes of icy water. Unfortunately, they chose to make a hole in a river where it bends. The mother was immediately swept away by a current that was moving 10 feet per second. Her husband attempted to help her, but immediately he felt the strength of the current. Divers are sent to find her, but what they found was her dead body about one kilometer away. This news footage, shared by Finn Flame, highlights a significant development in Germany, where prosecutors are relentlessly pursuing legal action against individuals linked to the atrocities of the Holocaust. One such individual facing trial is 93-year-old Oskar Groning former Nazi went on trial charged with 300,000 counts of accessory to murder. German prosecutors are pursuing more than a dozen aging Nazis under a new legal theory that death camp workers can be held accountable for the Holocaust even if they didn't murder anyone with their own hands. He maintains that, despite his role, he did not directly commit any acts of murder. Nonetheless, he stands accused of 300,000 counts of accessory to murder, underscoring the unwavering pursuit of justice even decades after those horrific crimes. This video showcases the impressive abilities of K-9 Endo, a highly trained police dog, as he assists in apprehending a suspect accused of armed carjacking. After the suspect abandons the vehicle and attempts to flee, K-9 Endo utilizes his exceptional sense of smell to track him, despite the complex mix of scents in the environment. Oh, boy, too, huh? His pursuit leads through a wooded area and behind a dumpster, eventually resulting in the suspect's location and subsequent arrest. The successful outcome demonstrates the valuable partnership between law enforcement and highly trained canine units. Judy Kaufwick, a school bus driver for the Combined Christian School Transportation Association, expresses frustration at the increasing number of drivers who disregard her bus's flashing red lights and stop sign. Despite these visible warnings, intended to ensure child safety, many vehicles continue to drive through the intersection. I'm scared. Judy has resorted to recording these violations on her cell phone. Right here. Her recordings show cars passing illegally, even as the stop sign is extended and she sounds the horn. In one incident, three vehicles disregarded the signs in succession. School buses are carrying our most precious cargo. Footage from other areas, including Florida and Washington State, demonstrates the severity of this problem and highlights near-miss incidents involving children. Judy's bus company transports 900 students daily, with frequent violations occurring despite the risks. I just look both ways and run. There they go again. While disregarding school bus signals carries a hefty fine and demerit points, law enforcement cannot monitor every intersection. Another message we have is for parents to teach their children that they can't rely on drivers to do the right thing. Okay, Divine. Lock and load it. Be careful. You have to stop. One time um, I was walking there and a car almost hit me and I just ran. You need to stop because the consequences can be so catastrophic. Stop! An incident involving an Aurora police officer, Officer Mayer, sparked controversy in 1993. On March 29th, other officers from Aurora Police Department responded to a report of a running police vehicle with an unconscious officer behind the wheel. Upon arriving at the scene, they found Officer Mayer unresponsive and transported him by ambulance. This response, including the presence of multiple emergency vehicles, drew attention and raised questions about how the situation was handled compared to a potential civilian encountered. Got him. 
getting there? Yeah. Is it something that uh, will come off once we start moving? No, we're good. Okay. It's all off. All right, we're ready to move. What else? Yeah. Did you guys check Cincinnati at all? Concerns were raised about Officer Meyer's access to a service weapon while incapacitated, but it shows officers securing his belongings, including the weapon, upon his removal from the vehicle. So just give it all to, uh, to The first officer on the scene prioritized treating the situation as a medical emergency. This decision, along with the lack of a DUI investigation and blood alcohol test, fueled public perception that the officer received preferential treatment compared to a potential civilian encounter. Officer Mayer ultimately faced a suspicion and demotion as disciplinary measures. The lack of further illegal action remains a point of contention with the community. YouTuber J, known for The Journey is the Destination channel, returns to the swamp of Three Bulls Run after discovering unusual structures previously. His nighttime exploration takes an unexpected turn as he encounters various stimuli in the isolated environment. I now have a picture. Bodies below. Bodies below me? Were you buried here? He receives an unsettling message on an unidentified app and hears the sound of a vehicle driving through the area late at night. I must leave. I must leave? You don't like having visitors then? You and The vehicle's erratic behavior, including stopping and playing music, prompts Jay to seek cover. When the car finally departs, he discovers another unsettling detail near his vehicle. It wasn't like this when I headed back there. This tree lay. What the f is that? Obviously, it just came off of up there. Feeling fortunate to avoid harm, Jay concludes his exploration and returns home. This one isn't necessarily scary, but damn it, it is wholesome. Police body cam footage shows a police officer saving a raccoon whose head was stuck in a jar. What a hero. In this footage, we witness a FedEx delivery person making an attempt to deliver a package to the homeowner. As he approaches the residence, his attention is drawn to a dog barking in his direction. Nervously, he asked the homeowner whether he could temporarily place the package in the car trunk, expressing his apprehension about the dog. Without hesitation, the homeowner graciously takes the package and brings it to the front door. Expressing gratitude, the FedEx employee thanks the homeowner and resumes his delivery duties. This video demonstrates the impressive abilities of a highly trained police dog during a routine vehicle check. The dog's keen sense of smell leads to the detection of concealed illicit substances, potentially drugs.
While the quantity of substances found may be small, this incident reinforces the value of trained K-9 units in law enforcement's efforts to maintain public safety. How do you view the role of K-9 units in policing efforts? YouTube team, The Flex Tapes, documented their overnight stay on the Corpus shipwreck. During their investigation, unusual occurrences unfolded, including the illumination of a flashlight seemingly without human intervention. Use your energy do it fast. Uncle. Uncle? Again. <laughs> Who's uncle? The team attempted to stop the phenomenon, but it continued. Could you stop playing about with the torch, please? We get the message now. Some of the team members reported feeling unwell, leading to speculation about potential causes. Stop it. I'm outside. Yeah, and you're trying to make me feel dizzy, so step back. Now. A YouTube video captured by Van Thotsky in the Philippines shows a close call between his vehicle and a pedestrian walking on the road. The vehicle also shows a near miss between a loose dog and another vehicle. It is important for pedestrians to use designated walkways whenever possible to ensure their safety and the safety of others. This includes keeping dogs leashed and under control to prevent them from entering traffic. Specific legal requirements regarding pedestrian and animal behavior on roadways may vary by location. During a routine patrol amidst the vast expanse of the ocean, vigilant U.S. Coast Guard officers disrupt the tranquil seas with a startling discovery. A mysterious object emerges from the depths, the shadowy form of a submarine. Recognizing the potential threat, the Coast Guard officers strategically approach the unusual vessel. Driven by a sense of duty, they decide to intercept and investigate the suspected cartel submarine. In a thrilling sequence of events, a brave Coast Guard officer leaps from the patrol boat onto the fleeing submarine. The patrol vessel and submarine engage in a suspenseful chase across the water. Undeterred, officers continue their pursuit and board the vessel, only to encounter a sealed entrance. Footage captures the determination of the Coast Guard as they demand access to the submarine. The tense standoff reaches a climax as the door finally opens, revealing a suspect. The officers swiftly apprehended the individual, unveiling a cartel operation involved in illicit drug smuggling activities. YouTuber Dylan Corcoran documents his nighttime exploration of Purgatory Road, an area known for unexplained phenomena. Hello? Guys, I just heard a whistle in the woods to the right. The video captures a range of unsettling sounds, including voices and other unidentifiable noises. Was that you? Betsy. Betsy. As Dylan notices a figure approaching in the darkness, speculation arises about his identity. Away. I swear to God. You're so Due to the low light conditions, it's impossible to determine the figure's nature definitively. On the SD card, so I'm from the 1700s. I just saw a shadow walking towards me, bro. Potentially, the video has sparked online discussions, with some viewers suggesting the possibility of shadow figure. The YouTube team Explore Beyond investigates a former hospital known for its alleged haunted activity. During their exploration, they enter room seven and use an S method communication device. from the ball please you can touch it again after okay thank you 
said you can touch it again. <laughs> Just getting to say that. Is, is this she said you think Thomas? That was to me before. Can you remember me? Wow. That's K2, K2. K2 again. The experience evokes emotional responses from the team, particularly when a team member relays a message suggesting a sense of need or longing. Mommy. That sounded like a child as well. I heard that myself. While various interpretations of these events exist, the team's experience highlights the potential for empathy and compassion when encountering emotionally charged situations, regardless of the source. A fire broke out at a two-story residence in Walpon, Wisconsin. Deputy Derek Rout from Von Dulux Sheriff's Office noticed smoke and flames emanating from the building while on patrol. He alerted the county communication center, which received multiple simultaneous 911 calls reporting the fire. Sheriff's Office, is everybody out of the house? Hey, hey! Get out of your house! We gotta get you out! Two occupants were trapped inside due to heavy smoke and flames blocking the exits. Deputy Rahult assisted them to safety until firefighters arrived. Hey, you gotta get out of your house! We gotta get you out of the house. Six one. I'm probably gonna have to open a window. Here. There's two people in the house. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna carry you out. No, I'm stripping up, boy. Give me the chair. I, I want to carry. We gotta get him out of here. Just play that. Give me my cane. Dad, what get, happened? The house on fire on the side. You gotta get him out of here. Come on, come on. No, I, I, break this fucking thing. I know, I know. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. How is the house on fire? I don't know. Oh, I'm falling. I don't. Okay, go like that. We gotta get you out of here, buddy. Why? What for? Because the house is on fire, man. Oh, 
Upon arrival, crews extinguished the blaze, which originated from the garage and spread to the house and attic. This firefighting effort lasted approximately five hours. The fire, deemed non-suspicious, is believed to have started from a lawnmower parked near the garage entry door. The fire caused significant damage, rendering the entire structure a total loss. One resident, a 66-year-old male, sustained minor injuries but received medical attention at the scene. During a patrol on Interstate 20 in Texas, Mansfield police officer Chad Stevens noticed a vehicle swerving in the left lane with hazard lights activated. Observing these signs of potential distress, Officer Stevens activated his emergency lights and approached the vehicle, which subsequently pulled over onto the shoulder. Upon exiting the vehicle, the driver, identified as Stephanie, appeared to be in distress. You're choking? Turn around. Turn around. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, Officer Stevens administered the Heimlich maneuver to Stephanie. Hold on, sit down, sit down on the wall. Sit right here. Sit right here, stay. I was looking for anybody. Okay. Since like I got onto the. Okay. What I want you to do is lean against this wall. We're gonna sit right here for a minute. Is that what it was? Your gum? Yeah. If somebody swerved in front of me, I got scared. She couldn't find a cop, couldn't find a cop, tried to cop it up. Stephanie later expressed her gratitude to the officer for his assistance. In his 12 years with the Mansfield Police Department, Officer Stevens noted that this was the first time he had to perform the Heimlich maneuver on duty. YouTuber Ian, known for his Midwest Ghost Hunter channel, explores the Vicksburg Cemetery, known for its reputation of paranormal activity. He uses audio equipment to capture sounds during his visit, including unexplained noises along the path. Alright, I'm just gonna kneel for a second. He utilizes a spirit box communication device, asking questions and interpreting the audio output. <laughs> While the sounds are enhanced, their origin and interpretation remain undetermined. He encounters a damaged tombstone and inquires about the events that transpired, receiving an unintelligible response. What happened? Is it vandalized? <gasps> Whoa. He repeats his request, and the device produces another sound, which he interprets as a name. Let's hear your voice one more time. Whoa. Thank you. Oh my he examines another tombstone and interprets another sound as a self-introduction. Oh, whoa, whoa! What the is that? Buried here? <gasps> whoa, I just heard your voice. He links this interpretation to the name previously obtained from the device. Ida! Oh my Her name is Ida! And I... While incidents involving police use of force are not new, each case raises questions about potential preventative measures and de-escalation tactics. In May of 2020, a police pursuit in Indianapolis resulted in the death of 21-year-old Jason Reed. Footage from the incident reveals the driver stating, I'm not pulling over, bro, despite police instructions. I'm not pulling over. This exchange proceeded to say, high-speed car chase. Reed continued to livestream the incident on Facebook, commenting on the situation and disregarding pleas for caution from viewers. He briefly evaded police and shared his address, requesting help from those nearby. After stopping his vehicle, Reed fled on foot. Shortly after, the sound of gunshots can be heard in the recording. Police maintain that Reed fired first, which led to officers returning fire and ultimately causing his death. 
In this video uploaded to and covered by YouTube channel Fact Fiction, a mother from Alabama was looking to have some relaxing time by the pool with her young ones, but it turned into a terrifying incident she would never forget. Take a look. The mother was reading while her sons were having fun before a big cracking commotion was heard. One of the boys shouts, Mom, run, as the tree splits and falls into the yard. The mother jumps and narrowly escapes with not even a second to spare. She stares in disbelief, knowing that if the tree had landed on her, she would have been a goner. Thank God she got out of the way. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, friends.